Greetings, this is Earthman, earthmansoil.com. God bless you, and thank you for watching this video. And as always, if you like this video, push like, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I think you should, because there's so many amazing things that are gonna happen this year uh, out of Earthman's garden that we'll both learn together. Let's get into the subject. Today we're gonna talk about hyper composting. And now I've done videos on this before, and so I wanted to, um, you know, uh, do another one. And what I have here are two large piles of compost. You can't tell how high they are, but they're pretty big. And um, it's probably about 100, 100, 100 gallons of soil or so. And uh, what it was before, it was leaves and uh, a bunch of plant matter, all my leftover plants from the year before. And just a, you know, just a bunch of organic matter that I would normally take, you know, if I was, you know, average Joe, and put it out front, and the city would take it away, and my yard would be all cleaned up and all that good stuff. But instead, I choose to use all the organic matter, uh, leaves and plant matter, and you know, clippings and stuff. And what I do is I layer and, and, and you know, layers. And in between each layer, I put an IMO3. Uh, actually, I use our Grovana um, IMO. And, uh, and, and what that has is a lot of different type of beneficial bacteria and fungi. And what they do is they, uh, they break that matter down quicker than uh, a normal compost pile would break down. And, and I didn't have to turn it. That's another thing. There's no turning involved. I mean, I guess you could every once in a while, but I didn't, you know, and, and I want you to see that. You know, I got oh, it's a lot of the, you know, there's some sticks in there and stuff, you know, rocks. Obviously, the bacteria aren't going to, you know, break that down. <laughs> Not yet. It'll take a while, but, um, you know, I, I'm going to sort through this. I'm going to screen it out, <clears throat> and I'm going to have some good soil. And it's, I guess you could say it's free other than the, you know, the, the IMO that I put on it and the wheat bran. But other than that, I mean, it's really good stuff. Now, granted, it's a little heavy. Um, and, you know, I can loosen that up by some putting some oyster shell flour, some rice hulls, some peat moss, coco core, um, you know, perlite, vermiculite. There's a lot of different things you could do to lighten this up. And, uh, but it's got good organic matter in there, lots of carbon and lots of other good stuff. And uh, not to mention, it's still got uh, a lot of microbes in there. In there. And um, so that's, in my opinion, the best way to compost. You know, it's, and, you know and, and I think you should compost. You know, um, don't give the city or anybody else your leaves. Keep them and all that yard waste and use it to make future soil. And you'll save a lot of money and uh, you can build your garden beds and it's just great stuff. But hyper composting, what it is again, it's, it's composting all your organic matter and yard waste that you normally would throw out and you layer it like lasagna, putting uh, your bacteria and fungi in between the layers. And then I just cover it up with some soil and then here we go. And I scraped off all the stuff that was the new stuff off of it and this is what I got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm moving it and I'm gonna start a new compost pile and I'm gonna screen this out and I'm gonna use it for my garden purposes this year, which I will share with you as we go throughout the harvest and uh, you know, up until harvest. So um, that's it, hyper composting. It does work. As you can see, I got amazing free earth. And I didn't have to go to Walmart or Home Depot to buy a bunch of bags or the farmer's market or wherever. I didn't pay a penny other than for the wheat brand that I mixed in there. Isn't that incredible? God is good. May God bless you. And composting, you should do it. And you should do it with bacteria. And if you don't have good bacteria that you, that you, you know, I mean, we all got good bacteria in our yards. But check us out at Earthman Soil. God bless.